Hey designers, if you're joining me on today's video, it's because you want to learn more about um, email marketing and in particular, Mailer Lite. It's the new email provider that I'm, I'm using. If you've been following me on my channel and you've watched some of my videos, you've probably seen that I've been talking about email marketing, but I was using a different tool called Active Campaign. And the whole reason why I switched recently is because of the price. Um, Active Campaign was starting to get really expensive. And for my email list right now, it just didn't make sense. So I switched to Mailer Light. I really like it. I think it's super user friendly and I want to do a few quick tutorials to teach you how you can start using it. But going back to the essential, why do you need an email list? By the way, if you've been watching some of my videos and you like the content, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And if you want to comment and also let me know what type of videos or tutorials you want to see on this channel, let me know because I will make sure that I record some of those videos. And in particular, I've noticed that you love tutorials, so I can definitely do more of those if you tell me what it is that you need right now. <laughs> Okay, so going back to the topic of email marketing, if you have a design business and you've just started to show up on Instagram or TikTok or any of those social media platforms because you've heard that they are a great tool to, well, to show up in front of your ideal clients, your dream clients, have the opportunity to showcase your work and get more of those clients, then it's a great idea. But there's one thing that you need to understand about these social media platforms is that they are not your own, which means that if Instagram decides to close your page tomorrow, you lose everything and you've got to start everything from scratch. It has happened to a lot of people, unfortunately, and the more you grow, the more likely you are to potentially lose a huge audience. So what we want is find a way that we can bring the people interested in your services from Instagram or anywhere else, like this YouTube channel, to an email list because you're going to be able to nurture prospect clients on something that is completely yours. It's more personal and yeah, you're going to be able to share valuable content that maybe you don't share on uh, more public platforms. And so if anything should happen to your Instagram page, you know that the people who are interested enough in your services to actually join your newsletter, you can still contact them and you can still share valuable content with them and offers and services that you have um, without needing to be completely dependent on Instagram. And so you've probably heard it so many times on my channel included, if you have a business, you need an email list and there are different ways that you can do that. I have other videos that you can watch uh, that I will link uh, up here. But some of the best ways that you can get people's emails is, well, a pop up um, to join your newsletter on your website. You could also have a freebie or lead magnet. It's basically a free guide that they may want to download because it has value. It has something, some kind of advice about something they're looking for right now. So it could be your best tips for a kitchen reno. If they're looking to refurbish their kitchen, they might want to download this freebie to understand what are your top tips for a kitchen refurb. So they will drop their email and their name and download the free guide. And in turn, it's going to get them on your newsletter, on your email list. And people are, of course, free to unsubscribe from the newsletter, but as long as they are subscribed, they're going to be receiving your emails, whether you decide to do it once a week or twice a month or every week, it doesn't matter. And sometimes, you know, people are not necessarily ready to buy straight away, but because they keep receiving your emails, they're still going to be remembering about your services and about you. They're going to get to know you on a more personal level if you share more of your personality on there. And so one year from now, they might reach out and say that they need a designer. It has happened many times for me, even people after three years of receiving my newsletter have um, started working with me. So you have to be patient, but this is your platform. This is your email list and nobody can take it away from you. We're now going to switch over to the computer. I'm going to show you what Mailer Lite is and how you can create a form for people to subscribe. I'm going to go into more detail, um, but let's get started. Okay, so we are in Mailer Lite. As I said, I just switched over from Active Campaign and it was super easy for me to set up everything uh, and to import as well all my subscribers. So Mailer Lite lets you use the software for free for up to 1,000 subscribers. 
Uh, but then even what you have to pay after that is much cheaper than active campaign, which is why I switched over. So there are a few things about MailerLite uh, that you that I will be doing tutorials for is the campaigns, the forms, and the automations. Those are three really important things that you want to understand. The forms is anything that you want um, people to put their name, their email at least, so that they can join the newsletter. And I have a few here because I have uh, freebies, so guides that I share for free in exchange for people's emails. And so when I have um, a free guide, I will promote it on Instagram and people can click on the link and they will be taken to um, a form that looks just like this one. I'm going to show you how it looks. So this is what appears and they're going to have to enter their first name, last name, email, potentially the company. It's not, um, they, don't, they don't have to fill it out, but they can. And then the CAPTCHA thing, and then they can download it. And then what happens is that they're going to receive an email with the link to download. And this is an automation, basically. I don't have to send every person um, this guide personally. It's going to be the, the automation in MailerLite that's going to do that for me. Uh, today, we're just going to focus on this. Um, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you more about the automations. The campaigns are basically the newsletters, but I will show you as well how it works. So if we go back to the forms, as I said, I have quite a few, and one of them is the newsletter. And the newsletter, I mean, you can design it whichever way you want. This is the pop-up that appears on my website for people to join the newsletter. I actually should say that the newsletter looks like this. The other forms that I have look a little bit different because I have to mention uh, to anyone adding their emails that I will be adding them to my email list. So they are aware that their email is going to end up in my email list. And then, of course, they can unsubscribe at any time. So if we look at the newsletter, I'm going back here. So this is the overview. All right. So here you have the possibility to edit the design. This is a form that I created, but I'm going to show you how you can create your own. You can see, so subscribers will be added to selected groups. So you can create a group um, and the groups are simply for you to um, remember where these people come from. So you could have different groups for different platforms, for example. So you know, oh, these people have come from Instagram. These people have come from here, from here. Uh, but this basically means that I want everyone who has filled out this form to be added to a group called new leads because they will be receiving the welcome sequence emails. I have videos about this as well. It's basically a series of three to four emails that people will be receiving approximately every three days with information relating to my services because they've joined the newsletter. So I'm now introducing them. I'm welcoming them with a welcome sequence because you don't want to be sending them emails out of thin air. You want them, you want them to uh, learn a little bit about you and your business, and then they'll join the next group, which is the email newsletter. That's for another video. So let's focus on just creating uh, this form. So going back to the forms, you have pop-ups, you have embedded forms, and you have promotions. The reason why I actually have never used this form, uh, because this would be a pop-up that was created if you had a site here. My form is on my Squarespace website, so I actually embedded the form into my, my website. And the embedded form, it just means you create a link that you will um, add to your Squarespace website, and it's, it's going to show up on another platform. But let's go back to embedded forms. We're going to create a form. And as I said, you can create any design that you want. When you have one, I would just suggest that you replicate it. So it's faster, but also it makes your brand easier to recognize. You don't want lots of different forms um, and colors and fonts and different things. Every time people are going to fill out a form because it just doesn't make your brand look very consistent. So you just give it a name here. Then it's an embedded form. You save and you continue. Select subscriber group. So 
when they fill out this form, what is it going to trigger? It's going to trigger, let's say here, I'm going to say that we're going to be adding them to the new leads. Welcome. I have a lot of different groups. You can just decide which group you want them to join so that basically once they fill out th this form, they're going to be added to a group and then they're going to receive a specific type of content. So if it's from um, something that has to do with my digital products, then they will most likely be added to the new leads in the digital download so that I know that um, they come, you know, because they have an interest in the digital downloads, in the digital products. So we're going to add, oh no, we're going to add the group. So this is what the like basic form looks like in Mailer Lite. I obviously think it's a bit too simple. Uh, for me, it's really important that I also get their name and it's great if they put their website. On the right hand side, you have a dashboard, a menu board, whatever you, you want to call it. And this is what you're going to be using to create the design for this newsletter. So here you can um, change the heading and the text. So you can say join my newsletter. And we can leave that for now, uh, but you can make it bold, you can like change everything about it, text color as well, you can change the size. Okay, and then we're going to save. Okay, this is the background color, so I've just changed it now. When you embed a form into your website, it's going to open a new window and you're going to see this page. So you want to think a little bit about what you want the background to be. I think mine is completely black because I have a lot of um, black and white going on with the neutral colors. So you can choose whatever you want for this. And if you have a brand kit, you can just input the code here. So it's the exact color that you want it. Or you can put an image. And then you're going to start tweaking everything about this. So it's the same thing. You can just think about what you want. You can think about the heading. What color do you want the text to be? What size do you want it to be? What font do you want it to be? And then don't forget to ever save. All right. And then if you want to add more boxes for them to fill out any other information, you're just going to click in here or here. And then this is what's going to appear. So you can add fields. Uh, so for example, for me, I want their name. Let's see here, we're going to edit and we're going to see this name, but we want first name. And here it says this field is required. For me, it's actually going to be required because I do not want an email without a name. Uh, when I send emails, I want to be able to know who I'm talking to and have it personalized with their names. Here, I also want this. The email is obviously required, so it's not even showing and then you can add anything else and you can choose here what you want and then you can change the label don't forget to change okay save all right so this is what it looks like now you can also change the button so if you don't want it black you want it white this is very easy to use to be honest very user friendly and then you may also want to look at some of those things um, if you want people to confirm, this is great to add because you have a lot of robots that keep adding names, random names and random emails. And when I started, I can't remember if it was with this or with active campaign, I had hundreds uh, of fake emails because it was just a computer doing that. And by just adding this, it's not going to be able to work. So I would definitely recommend that you add this. And then once you're done editing, you're just going to, or actually you should preview what it looks like. Okay, you can check the mobile as well. And what we want to check out is the success message. So once they fill out their information, this is what they're going to see on the screen. Thank you, you've successfully joined our subscriber list. So same thing, you can edit, you can change the message here. And then you, you're going to see done editing and it's saved. All right, so this is working. And now you have the URL. So this is what you're going to be sharing with people. So let's say you're on Instagram. You create a story and you say, you know, join my newsletter for updates and, and special offers, blah, blah, blah. You're going to click on the option, add a link, and the link will be this one. So I suggest that you keep this link handy for any time you want to share it with people. This is also the link that you're going to put into your website for people to be able to join the newsletter from there as well. 
Uh, and yeah, that's it. You have your form, newsletter form, and you can then just duplicate it and create lots of different forms for free guides and such. Uh, so I have quite a lot of them. And this ensures that I can get people on my email list and then add them to the relevant group. So then I can send them information about what is of interest to them. So I hope it made sense. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create an automation. That's not going to be as easy, but it's still pretty user friendly, to be honest. So I'll see you in the next video.